We wanted to prove that there was no technological reason that a field can't be farmed without humans and we have done that. Our main challenge for harvest was getting the combine ready, um, spent a lot of time practicing, getting our headland turns right and on the day they seem to be perfect which is uh, amazing to see that happen. What we had was a little Sampo combine, it's a smaller header unit than it's generally used within harvesting. Um, the idea behind it, despite it being an aged machine, was to actually have a ability of having smaller machines running together. So. It's only got two metres header on the front of it that allows us to, in theory, start catching more precise yield counts of what's actually going on in our field. The idea behind actually having multiple machines as well is to actually have them running together in fleets and just with smaller machines that are going to produce less damage to our fields and produce less compaction to the entire area of what we're cropping. Our combine drove much better than the tractor. Um, we made a bit of a breakthrough on that. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to make the same adaptions to our tractor. Um, so even though we practiced a rolling team, um, we weren't confident enough in our tractor to put it near enough to the combine. We've had to adjust our spraying times and we've had to adjust our harvest times down to the rain. But unfortunately, our yield is slightly less than we expected, but it's a feasibility study. Where can we actually learn from the things in the first time? And as we said throughout the entire thing, if it was easy, somebody would have done it before us. And this is a world's first. It feels amazing to have finished um, We've worked all year for this. Uh, at some points it didn't feel like it was ever going to happen, but to have done it now and proved to everyone that we have we can do it. We've, throughout the year we've been predicting roughly five tonnes to the hectare. Uh, looking in the trailer, we're maybe not quite there. Um, our agronomist Kieran said four and a half and it looks like he's on the money. So we're going to get some of our barley malted and make our hands-free beer.